very important that you get this part of the bike, uh, this part of the uh, uh, whole uh, maintenance thing right. You need to get it cleaned every single time, after every single ride. You let all that muck stay in the bike and you're asking for trouble. Well, that's the lot. That's what you need to change your oils and nothing more. So what we have is uh, the Mortal 15W50 semi-synthetic 2 liters. 1.8 will go into the motorcycle. Why this? Pocket friendly and serves the purpose. Some cleaning liquid just to clean around the areas when they get dirty. A 22 millimeter wrench. Yeah, that's a 22 millimeter wrench. Socket. A 8 millimeter T spanner for the oil filter uh, cap. Oil filter. Part number would be 57. 4297 slash D. Some Scotch Bright to just scuff and clean around the edges. Lock tight for the bolts to go back in. Some tissue again to clean around the areas. Cardboard just so that you don't have the oil spilling onto the um, the uh, bash plate going into the bash plate. Rather, it flows through. And finally, my oil pan. A simple metal container with a plastic sheet here so that I can wrap up the whole of it and uh, discard it carefully. Finally, gloves. That's about it. So that's warming up the engine just so that the oil inside gets a little bit thinner and flows out easily. 22 mm. And uh, you will know when things will start to leak. My washer, the copper washer that comes along with the bolt, is stuck to the engine. So we'll have to wait for that. Now, the 8mm spanner on both the 8mm bolts. A small tiny note here would be just to uh, wiggle this rubber o-ring or whatever ring you want to call it just press on it a little and move it around a bit here and there so you can know if they're starting to wear out you look on the sides and you don't see a bump it's almost flush with the level of the uh, of this this particular part here it's not a slight bump that you can feel then you know that you know it's time for you to change that o-ring for now it's good all I just do is just I, I press on the rubber and it's more like trying to get it to move from its place a little bit just so that you know the rubber gets back its memory I mean just a little bit of a pressure here and there not even but kind of a, a wake-up call it's been on that sealed for a really long time so you just want to kind of just get it to stick out a bit and if it sticks out if it's got its bumpy shape nice bumpy shape then you know that this can be used again so 
that's that. One last wipe. So I'll gently pull the bike towards me a little, just to get the remaining oil out. I'll rock it a bit. Yes, it is a heavy motorcycle and you need to be very, very careful when you do this. It's not something which is a very healthy idea, but that being said, it just gets that tiny bit of oil that's inside the bottom of the sump to slowly flow out and if it helps it helps okay so here comes the moment of truth the wire mesh and absolutely nothing on it yes yeah, something maybe one tiny piece of metal that you can see I don't know if it is focusing well enough but that's all there is that was on my wire screen I forgot to mention I also carry my uh, with me uh, a choke and carb cleaner so this comes in handy just to get rid of all the oil in one go okay a tiny bit of a clean inside the chamber trying to get all of the excess oil out so it's time to put back the screen the uh, if you can see it's more of the shape of a trapezium in the, um, the less wide side goes in first and uh, you can also see that the lip here is wider at the bottom it's thinner so let me just try it this way yeah it goes in the wider lip faces upwards and goes and slides in completely as you can see okay so now for the uh, oil drain bolt with the crush washer what i do is i a little of the throttle body cleaner on the crush washer as well and uh, shove things in there you go So hand tight and once it seats just a quarter of a turn that's it not even a quarter and that would do so now what you see me do is I'm playing around with the uh, cardboard just to figure out uh, a nice position where things when they drip they drip to the bottom get the 8 wheel spanner and undo the first bolt that is this one here then the top one and then the one on the left release the pressure evenly pull the bike to your side so that you have no oil going into the oil so that you have no oil going into the uh, um, bash plate 
bolts once you know once you just have loosened the bolts you haven't completely removed anything once you've just loosened the bolt the oil will start to drain out and the best thing to do is just to lean the bike a little to this side so that you have all the oil flowing onto your container instead of going into the bash plate that's the uh, oil filter cap your o-ring take care of this fellow and uh, yeah my gasket seems to be perfectly in place so I'll not disturb it just wiggle your old oil filter out and it ought to come out without much trouble I pulled out the gasket and uh, just giving it a nice clean as you can see the side with the impressions is where the oil cap goes oil filter cap goes the side which is plain is facing the other side that is the the engine casing side be gentle with this you do not want to crack this you go to the service center these guys will say they don't have it in stock so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to again replenish the rubber by just gently pressing on it not stretching it gently pressing on it like that and uh, just so that you have a good seal the next time this goes on here okay so that's my o-ring sitting in the groove and that's my gasket onto this side so how you go about this is you pour the oil inside like that and you rotate the oil filter with hand and there you go that's good enough that will start soaking in I think I would have poured in approximately 20 to 30 millil 30 milliliters and you can see the oil is already starting to soak in there you go pushed it in and uh, yeah good to see that the o-ring is in place so I start with my fresh can shake it nicely and uh, Pour it in. Now the uh, second litter. Again, you can see it shows us one full litter. Just 500 milliliters, and then we can just start the engine and see. We crank up the engine, let the oil circulate.
So now what you can do is you can just crank up the engine and let the oil circulate. the oil going in and out of the whole system and then when it settles you will get the right level that's about a minute of uh, idling now if you can see absolutely nothing on the oil window and this is where you know that the bike can take another 200 to 300 milliliters so I'm roughly at about uh, yeah so 1750 and the oil level shows up like that on the window if you can see that that's the whole of it And the brand new oil just makes things unbelievably fun. You can instantly feel the difference <laughs> with the new oil. Always good to test your bike's performance after you've installed the new oil, after you've uh, poured in the new oil. Also important to see if there are any leaks in the system. Okay, so look for oil leaks, nothing, no problems on this side. And no problems on this side. And uh, that is what is left of uh, the old oil. What I've done is I've taken the old oil from the pan and I've poured it into the uh, cans back again. This goes for recycling, uh, which I usually do. I uh, do not discard the oil uh, right just about anywhere. What I do is I put them back in the cans and then this gets collected by uh, some of my mechanics. If I can call someone, They'll come and collect it. If they are a little too busy, I'll drop it in their place, at their place, and uh, the recycling man will come and take it from them. So that's about it. Uh, what I have left with me is about a litre and 600 ml of the old oil, and uh, uh, I think another 150 ml or so uh, got wasted here and there in the process of transferring. There was about um, 50 ml uh, of oil or more on the oil filter um, and a little more here and there uh, from the pan to uh, while, you know, uh, transferring from the pan to this, you get um, a bit wasted. So we're looking at another 100 ml, so that would be one six one seven a total that I managed to pull out of the engine. Uh, so... I poured in 1.7 and I've pulled out around, uh, a litre and 700 ml. So that doesn't mean that uh, I got back the exact amount. <laughs> uh, I've burnt nearly 250 ml uh, for about uh, 3000 kilometers on the Odo. And that is perfectly, perfectly normal. Um, uh, any engine uh, burns oil and uh, uh, we are looking at 
100 ml to uh, 1000 km especially if you're going full on long distances then you burn oil faster so i have burned about uh, 250 ml and i'm more than happy about uh, the consumption rate and uh, so all is well that ends well the, what you see here is the best motor oil that i've used uh, next to a fully synthetic a fully synthetic one is not definitely not required on royal enfield himalayan um you don't go about revving full throttle all the time on the himalayan so the next best thing on in the market would be this so that's the whole of it thank you guys for watching um and if you like the whole process kindly give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and share these videos this means a lot to me all this effort um I'll see you guys on another day on another vlog until then signing off bye